Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines for March 4th. Individual volunteers from abroad are joining Ukraine's fight against Russia. The U.S. and NATO member states who are stepping back to intervene directly are closely monitoring the situation, channeling their support with military equipment and funds. About 150 British veterans who served in Afghanistan and 20 American soldiers from the U.S. Army took off to join the front lines in Ukraine. However, there are some controversies on volunteering for war abroad since some countries, like the U.K., ban their citizens from conscripting to war activities overseas. Eighty-four percent of all elementary and high school students carried out self-tests before heading off to their first day of school, according to the Ministry of Education. Out of those, approximately 158,000 students tested positive and were not able to attend school. With schools reopening, six million rapid antigen tests were distributed to schools nationwide, and an additional amount is expected to be distributed next week. The government will place part-time teachers on hold in case a cluster of infections break out among the faculty. Finally, Prime Minister Kim bu tested positive for COVID-19 early yesterday. He will undergo self-treatment for a week at his official residence in Seoul. Kim is expected to postpone all meetings and fulfill his official duties online. He will cast an early vote for the 20th presidential election tomorrow at a polling booth near his place, strictly following the quarantine rules imposed by the health authorities. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly segment, Pop and Culture.